How does a partner's acquisition affect the value of a firm's alliance with that partner? Firms tend to manage alliances and acquisitions separately and also research tended to look at these uh, two vehicles separately. So we can think about examples like uh, the acquisition of uh, LinkedIn by Microsoft that uh, had uh, a negative impact on its uh, alliance with uh, Salesforce. Other examples uh, are Adobe acquisition of Marketo, which had a positive impact of its alliance with uh, Microsoft. So we study the value of uh, an alliance uh, with a partner that acquires uh, another target. And we consider how the similarity between uh, the businesses of the firm and the acquisition target, as well as the complementarity of their businesses, impacts this uh, value. So our first prediction is that when a partner acquires a target that has a similar business to that of the firm, then this has a negative impact on the firm's alliance with that partner because of the increased competitive tension between the parties and the fact that the partner is more committed to the acquired target than to the firm and therefore will be less committed to their alliance relation. In addition, there is an expectation that uh, because of this acquisition, the partner will be uh, less uh, willing to invest in uh, the relationship with uh, the firm and the relationship between them will uh, severe. So we expect to see a negative impact on the value of the alliance from the firm's perspective. On the other hand, when the partner acquires a target that has a complementary business to that of the firm, then we expect to see more synergies coming out of this acquisition and uh, the relationship between the firm and the partner will serve as a channel for leveraging these additional resources. The partner has an incentive to merge these uh, businesses of the firm and the target because it will be one of the beneficiaries from this relationship. So we expect that the greater the complementarity between the businesses of the firm and acquired target, the more value we can expect to see following the acquisition for the firm's alliance with that partner. As a next step, we consider how the relational embeddedness between the firm and the partner, meaning the extent to which they built interpersonal relations over a sequence of alliances in the past, can impact the value that is created following the acquisition. Our expectation is that to the extent that the parties have built an embedded relationship, then this uh, will mitigate the negative impact of a business similarity between the firm and the partner's acquisition target, and at the same time it can enhance the value of complementarity between the firm and the partner's the target uh, businesses. Our sample include public firms that form alliances with U.S.-based public software partners, and these partners in turn engage in acquisitions with public targets from 2000 to 2016. We use an event study method to examine the firm's stock market return during the announcement of the partner's acquisition. The results reveal that business similarity between the firm and the partner's target reduced the alliance value to the firm following the acquisition as expected. On the other hand, we also find the positive effect of business complementarity on the firm's alliance value. However, contrary to our prediction, relational embeddedness between the firm and the partner increases the loss ascribed to business similarity while reducing the benefit of business complementarity. So our study reveals that a partner's acquisition can either enhance or undermine the value of the alliance to the firm depending on the extent of business similarity and complementarity between the firm and the partner's target. We also offer interesting insight regarding the role of relational embeddedness. Embedded relations imply close and trusting engagements, so one would not expect a trusted partner to acquire a target that directly competes with the firm. Also, in an embedded relation, the firm tends to share tacit knowledge with its partner, which may endanger its competitive position. That's why relational embeddedness increase the loss ascribed to business similarity. Finally, the benefit of business complementarity are constrained when the firm and the partner have an embedded relation. One explanation for this is routine rigidity. In embedded relation, the firm and the partner tend to develop relation-specific routines, which over time may become rigid and create challenges in taking advantage of new opportunities that arise. In general, 
This study makes important strides toward understanding the implications of the interplay between alliances and acquisitions, as well as the partners' initiatives beyond the scope of the alliances. Our study establishes that corporate initiatives in firms that you are associated with, such as your alliance partner, actually matters for the value of your firm. Those initiatives can destroy value in your firm. They can also create new opportunities to reap synergies together with the partner and the partner's acquisition target. However, in order to reap those synergies, you may want to explore the routines that uh, you together with your partner use to reap those synergies because those routines you may want to change and adapt to the new situation. So whereas most research has pointed to the positive implications of uh, relational embeddedness in alliances uh, in terms of increased knowledge transfer and efficiency, our study shows darker side of relational embeddedness. So when your partner acquires another target, the, if you have these uh, relational specific routines and you are embedded in relations with your partner, these routines may be inflexible and not able to encompass the new opportunities that arises together with a new partner in this triad constellation. So an important contribution of our study is to really think about these relation specific routines and how these can be changed and adapted to take those new opportunities.